Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the FBX 3D models into Unreal Engine 5 with the morph targets for your facial expressions, for the facial animations, and also the mouth talking lip sync. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Alright, look at this. This is my Unreal Engine 5. And now you can see these 3D models that I imported from the FBX file, it already have the facial expressions. All of this, what we call the morph targets, and you can call it a shape keys in Blender, or you can just call it as blend shape in Autodesk Maya, or you can just simply call it a morph. All right, so how to import any FBX 3D models together with the morph if your FBX already have the morph target So start from now. I'm going to show you the step by step I'm going to close everything in Unreal Engines and Everything I will just start from a fresh new Unreal Engine project and I'm going to show you the step by step at the same time I already have an FBX 3D model that I, I already very sure that this FBX 3D model already have the morph targets, already have the blend shape or you can call it shape key inside the FBX file. So in Unreal Engine 5.3, I'm going to just create a fresh new game project, a third person game project. I click create and now the Unreal Engine 5.3 editors is loading a fresh new game project and I'm going to just show you everything from beginning. Right, now this is a fresh new game project. The first step, what you need to do is just go to the window, content browser, just call out a content browser, drag and drop to the bottom. Then click the content to make sure you are in this folder. And then you can see I have this FBX 3D model with morph targets. The first step, what we need to do is just create a new folder in Unreal Engine 5. Name this as name this as morph a cartoon 01. This is my 3D model. I enter two times to enter. Then I'm going to just drag and drop the FBX file. It is going to have an FBX import options. The first step, just go to the advanced. Make sure you select import morph targets. This one must be true so that you can import the morph targets. Then make sure you import the, the animations with the animated time. If your 3D model already have them the morph target animations. If it that doesn't have, then you no need to import the animations. So next, just click import all, then close. Next, we are going to check the 3D model. It is here. All right, it also included some of the texture. The first step, just find your skeleton mesh and double click it. Now, Next, go to set up the material. For this material, I click the empty area, the blend mode, I change it to mask. And then this texture, it already have some transparency for the opacity mask. I drag the alpha to the opacity mask, then everything will be fine. And I also take the two side to select it. Then I click save. Then close this. Now you can see my 3D model already become normal. Then next, just under the skeleton mesh, you should be able to see this under here. All of these are the morph targets. If you drag, now, all of these are the morph targets, like the sorrow, fonts, everything, all of the morph target, the blend shape, the shape key will appear here. 
then you can utilize it anytime when you want. Like the angry font. If your FBX 3D model really con contain the morph targets, just by using using my steps, you can just import any FBX into Unreal Engine with the morph targets. Right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you view all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!